Hey guys, and happy Saturday. So today is the So You Think You Can Craft Challenge, and we are going to be using glass jars, glass containers, glass. <laughs> um, and I have this little jar. It used to have a candle in it. I got it from the Dollar Tree a while ago, and it looks like a little barrel, so I just kept it. And then I got this little piece of, I believe it's like baseboard or something, um, from like Lowe's and it was on clearance for like 10 cents. Then I'm just going to go ahead, clean up all my little dust with my desktop vacuum. I don't have the ladybug. I love this one though. So I'll link it down below if anybody's interested. Then I'm going to go ahead and stain this little wood piece. And I can't remember the name of the stain, but it's like a gray color. So what I do is I put a glove on my hand, grab a sock and just go ahead and do it that way. It kind of eliminates the step of putting it on and then having to wipe it all off and if there is any excess obviously just go ahead and wipe it but this really kind of eliminates that extra step so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a piece of this uh, like one of these little metal hangers from the Dollar Tree that they have now and I'm going to cut a piece that's going to be long enough for this then I'm going to um, take one of these picture hanging pieces and I'm going to like flatten out one of the like hook parts of it so that I can kind of make it into a little, it's going to be a hanger. It's just going to be different than <laughs> you would have used it initially. And you'll see here what I'm talking about. So I'm just going to take uh, one of the nails that came in the pack and I'm going to nail it onto the, um, the little piece of wood. And I don't know if I... I don't know, I lost some footage. I'm kind of all over the place with this one. For some reason, I was, I don't know, I deleted footage. I lost footage. I don't know. This video, it was kind of recording weird anyway, but <laughs> I went ahead and I hammered that nail in there. So you can see, I just made like a little, little hanger. Then I'm going to take a zip tie and I'm going to measure out how uh, long I need the chain. I'm going to cut that up and then I'm going to take the zip tie and I'm going to put it into the each end of the the links there if that makes sense. You'll see here what I'm talking about. I'm sorry I'm kind of out of the screen there. I'm using a different tripod and it wasn't really working out very well. But anyway, you can see what I did there. I just went ahead and put it on each side, which really doesn't matter because at the end I ended up switching it out to jute twine and you'll see that right now. I forgot to add the hanger in the back, but I did do that. And this is what it turned out like. I really like it. It's super cute. It's just a little bitty uh, sconce. Um, today, my co-host is the amazing Indiana Jones. So definitely head on over to her channel. Let her know I sent you. And definitely check out the playlist. You're definitely going to get some great inspiration. All these creators are awesome. So head on over there. So for my next project, I'm going to be using these little animals that I got from Dollar General. They were a dollar each. I showed them to you like that because I took them down to spray paint them black and didn't show that part. So I want to show you what I was using. Then I'm going to use these two jars from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to clean off the lid so that the glue sticks well. I don't want to have any issues with anything, you know messing up my adhesion there so I just took some alcohol wiped them down and then I'm going to take the um the little animals and when I spray painted them I didn't get the underbelly of them and kind of some of the grooves and stuff weren't um completely covered so I'm just going to take some black uh paint and I'm acrylic paint and I'm just going to go ahead and cover up all the pieces that I missed when I was spray painting and I mean obviously if you don't have spray paint you could just paint them but um, I thought they looked better one solid color as opposed to you know their natural color that they came in but you can do these white you can do these silver to match the lids you can paint the lid you can do whatever you want I kind of like the contrast of the black with the um, the silver lid kind of just gave it more of a modern farmhouse type of feel for me so I liked it and that's why I didn't paint the lid but obviously you can do whatever you want you can even paint the jar you can do whatever you want with these I kind of wanted to keep it as neutral and simple as possible that's why I went with the clear jar the lid the way it was and I decided to paint the animals a solid black 
So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some hot glue and I'm going to hot glue these onto the lid. You could add E6000 or super glue or anything like that. Um, but my hot glue is amazing. I love it. And it is the Gorilla Glue. So it I've never had any issues with it. So I'm going to go ahead and use that. But like I said, you can use whatever you want. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and glue these two pieces on there. And that is that's it. Like this is as simple as it can be. <laughs> um, I love the way that it turned out and you can use this for coffee, sugar, whatever you want, candy, treats, whatever. And this is how they look. I think they turned out great. So I have a little bonus here. I did a, um, what's it called? The poll on my channel and everybody wanted, or not everybody, but most of you picked this arch window from the Dollar Tree for me to do a DIY with. And I figured, you know what, I'm here and this one was simple and I had already recorded it. So why not just add it in here at the end? Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and take out the backing. Sammy from Unicorn Dust Designs was the one that I saw this on. I wouldn't have thought to take it out. I would have just left it like that. But hey, you get an extra kind of window out of it. So <laughs> I, I took, you know, took her lead and took that backing off of it. And that little piece in the middle came off fairly easily, but it did leave the hot glue on there. So I just used my heat gun and melted it off and it came out, you know, no problem. So I have this little spare piece of, I think it's a painter stick or a furry, piece of furring strip that I had used in a previous project and I took it apart. So I'm just going to go ahead, touch up the black paint so that it looks nice and fresh and clean and, you know, doesn't look like it isn't used it was used so I'm going to go ahead and just freshen up that paint then I'm going to use these little thumbtacks again I love these little push pins thumbtacks whatever you want to call them they have a little hook on them I'm just going to go ahead they went in fairly easily without really any issues so I put those in right there at that cross beam of the little window and then again I'm going to take one of these chains and I'm just going to measure it out sorry I'm out of the screenshot but I'm just going to hot glue the wood piece to the bottom of the window sill or window pane or whatever you want to call it. Um, I just went ahead and hot glued it on there just so that you have a little ledge or a little shelf and you can use it to put whatever you want on there. And I just like the way that the little hooks hold the chain on there. I also added some little eye hooks to the wood to hook the chain up. Again, I lost the footage for that for some, I don't know what happened, but it came out from that same package that I got from Dollar General, and it's just like the picture hanging frame. Um, and I went ahead, put the little hook back on, the hanging hook back onto the back of the window frame there so that I can hang this up. And that is it, guys. This is your one DIY with the little window, <laughs> with the little window pane there. I'll have some more coming, but this is what it looks like. So be sure to head on over to the playlist check everybody out and until next time be blessed and be the reason someone smiles bye, bye.